Hey guys, me man here. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I just recently purchased a Radeon HD 4870 graphics card for my computer. Um, as I said, it was a great card, but as I played with it and used it for a while, um, I noticed that my computer would just totally freeze and lock up after playing games for a couple minutes and this started happening more frequently and stuff so I called Best Buy and asked the Geek Squad what was wrong and I have all the requirements and the updated drivers I explained that to them and so they told me that it could be drivers still or something or it could be the bad card so I did exchange it for the same one and now I got it home tonight and it seems to be working just fine again um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I got a different version of the card um, so I just wanted to you that now if you haven't watched my other video you might want to watch that first to see what card that it was before but if you already have then I'll show you this okay so as you can see it's the same box um, same box that the one came in before but if you notice on the back and now I didn't look at this at the store but it has different connectors in the last one this one has um, one dual link DVI um, a VGA which the other one did not have which I don't need but came with that and then it's got an HDMI input right on the card which the other one needed an adapter for that and it had two dual link DVIs. Um, it did come with a HDMI to DVI converter though so I did use that because I do use two monitors so I did need two of the DVIs but then also it had this plastic wrap which I've never seen anything like this because they need that electrostatic shield or whatever but this is one of those but I've never seen plastic wrap like that but so that was different that's what set me off originally when I opened it and then you got the vision tech stuff uh, guide and CD so that was the same and then it only came with one six pin power even though you need two six pins but so that was kinda of disappointing but I do not need that but if you didn't have that on your power supply you would need it but alright and then it came with a uh, DVI to VGA which I don't need but just extra so that stuff was all different now I'll show you how the car looks like because it is different than the other one so uh, I'll show you that right now so as you can see this is a different card um, this one's got two fans on the bottom there's one and then there's the other one so it is a lot quieter than the other one so that is very nice um, and then it's got these heat sink heat pipes on it with a huge heat sink and then the fan blows on those so it is a lot quieter than the other one so um that's nice um and on this one the two six pin powers are on the side now instead of on the back so that would be better if your case could just fit it or something to have the power on the side so i mean i'm not too disappointed about that but so that's nice and then on the back as you can see here, I'm using the uh, HDMI to DVI converter because so, it took up both my monitors because I do use two DVIs. And then on the bottom, you just got the fan port again. So, yeah. So I just wanted to show you guys that it was a different card. Um, and even though it was the same box, I didn't even notice. And it did have different inputs and stuff or outputs but I mean it's working for me perfectly now and I do like the dual fan design with the heat pipes it is a lot quieter than the single fan that I had before so just wanted to let you guys in on that and thanks for watching please subscribe rate and comment stay tuned for more videos